What's up folks, just wanna make this quick announcement, let y'all know, live streams every Saturday evening. Start times could be from six to eight, so you got time to get there, get your snacks, get your dinner, get a drink, whatever. Come have a good time with me and Qua the One. This channel will be over here. And let's get on with the video. good everybody welcome back it's been too long it has been too long since my last full length video i know i know i know you can't say anything else anymore jessica you can't say it anymore because we're here today and i know y'all already see it we getting official merch out here check out the hat hold up spin that bad boy around boom Merch is on the way. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. Today we watching Zach Russian. Y'all already know. Gotta come back with a banger. And this one is called I Love Crazy Women But Just One. We all know Sarah Bear. We love Sarah Bear. I ain't gonna say too much else. Subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And let's get into it. All right, let me start this off by saying that I love crazy women. I do. I always have. More specifically, I love one crazy woman, and she's head over heels about me, too. I mm -hmm. like crazy women for the fact that it's never boring. It's not. You don't want no damn vanilla Fair ass enough. woman coming home every day and everything just like, well, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. No, that's boring. If you're boring, say you're boring. I'm not like that. I like the fact of coming home and we might fuck, or I might fuck around and find out what I did wrong that day, not even having a clue. <laughs> I like that shit. It gets me going. And my woman is crazier than a sprayed roach. She really is. She's not your squirrel turd, but I love that about her. The only issue I have about my crazy woman is the fact that shit kind of one-sided. Now, once a week, every week, I am a firm believer that you always need to continue to date your significant other. The moment you quit uh -huh. dating your significant other is when you just become roommates. And she's way too damn fine for me to just fuck around and be her roommate. Fair. That shit ain't happening. Fair. So once a week, I plan it out. I try to plan it out. I get her a little gift. She gets dressed up. We go out. Well, last week, she just wanted to go to the bar. She wanted to go to the bar, get some mozzarella sticks, drink, cut up, this, that, and the other. Now, I was cool with that. Cheap date. You get to go to the uh -huh. bar. While we're at the bar, a lot of our friends walked in. We conglomerated into one big group. Boys went over here. We're talking about golf. Girls went over here. They're talking about the boys. Doesn't bother us. It's a system. Now, with that being said, a guy walked up to Sarah, which is my girlfriend, and he shot his shot. Well, as soon as he walked up and tapped her mm -hmm. on the shoulder, all my boys were like, bruh, bruh, yeah. bruh, you got to go get her. Yeah. I'm like, y'all don't know how strong this bitch is right here <laughs> because she finna curb him like he, like he waiting on a bus. I don't have to get involved in that. Shoot your shot, brother, but I'm going to warn you, it ain't going to end well. That's what I did in the <laughs> middle of the bar. She curbed his ass. I don't have to go check on her. I don't have to go protect her because I know how crazy this woman is. Now, with that being said, I didn't overreact. I let her handle her business. Now, fast forward to last night, okay? We went out on our weekly date because I'm leaving this weekend. I have two shows in Missouri, one in Joplin, one in Cape Girardeau. So I don't have time to take her out at the end of this, at the end of this week. So we went out last night. We walk into a very nice restaurant. After we went through our whole series of events where we get in the truck and we argue about where we're going, and she says, give me options. And I give her three options of restaurants. She says she's not really feeling any of them. So I get mad and threaten to take us home to eat bologna sandwiches. And then we <laughs> ended up settling on the same place we always go. It's our system and it works. I've told y'all this bitch is nuts. All right, but I dig that shit. I'm into it. Now, we go into the restaurant. The hostess talks us to our table and we sit down. She's looking at the menu. I'm looking at the menu. The waitress walks up to the table, looks at us, says, can I take y'all's drink menu? I mean, y'all's drink order. And she said, yeah. And then she's turned and looked at me and she goes, oh my God, you have amazing teeth. Wow, you have a pretty smile. Now I said, thank you, ma'am, I appreciate that. Uh, I'll take a water with lemon. And she walked away. As soon as that woman got out of ear range, Sarah's head did just like this right here. Yep. Who the fuck was that? Yep. <laughs> you know her? What's her name? Hmm? You got oh. a history with her? Are you friends on Facebook? <laughs> what? I'm like, baby, you don't understand. You remember last week whenever you was in the bar and the guy hit on you and I didn't do nothing. 
That's how you got to be with me. She's like, nah, I, you don't understand something right now. She ain't getting a single fucking tip, and I'm fitting to walk over here, and I'm requesting a new waitress. I ain't dealing with that shit in front of me at this table. And she looked at me. She goes, do you have Fair. a problem with that? And I said, the only thing a man nope. can say in that situation. I said, nah, baby, I ain't fucking with that. Mm, you go right ahead and do your thing, baby. I'm yours. I'm going home with you. Please don't stab me. <laughs> that, yes. Yes. I loved all of that. I love them both at how devoted they are to one another. But boy, I dealt with the bad side of that before in a, in a past relationship. And if it's not on the Zach's, you know, level, it's just completely terrible. And you don't want to be in that situation. Oh, my dear Lord. I'm, I'm speechless, guys. Actually kind of hot here. Um, happy to be back. Thank y'all for tuning back in. We're trying to get back on a regular schedule. I'm not going to leave y'all hanging for like a month again. I promise y'all that. Because we hit 2,500 subs today. Thank you all. Old, new, anybody in the middle. I appreciate y'all support always. I appreciate y'all that always show up to the lives. If you do not, if you haven't made it to a live yet, I'm going to need you to start making your way. Because they are lit and that's all i'm gonna say about that i will see y'all in the next video and until next time peace out